The Roman Catholic faithful in Hawaii joined millions across the world mourning the death of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, who passed away in the Vatican this morning. He was a great leader in our church, and uh, we are sad at his passing, but we know that he's at peace with God now. Monsignor Gary Secor met Pope Benedict during a visit to Rome and said he was more than his hardline reputation. You know, some people had called him God's Rottweiler, uh, partly because he was German and also because uh, they thought maybe he was a little too strong in um, proclaiming orthodoxy, but actually he wasn't that way at all. Grazie, buona notte. In 2005, German Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger became Pope Benedict XVI. He had spent 20 years as the feared chief enforcer of Vatican conservatism and led the investigation into pedophile priests in 2001. During his papacy, Pope Benedict worked to clean up the church's sex scandal, apologizing for the sexual abuse of children at the hands of Catholic clergy. He was a great defender of the truth uh, of the Catholic Church, and I think that's very important. And of course, we always want to proclaim the truth in a loving way, and I think he did that as well. Pope Benedict also apologized for comments that portrayed Islam as a violent religion, saying the words did not reflect his own views, but not before several Christian churches were burned in protest. In 2013, the 85-year-old said he was too old to carry on and became the first pope to resign in nearly 600 years. When he retired, Pope Benedict became known as Emeritus Pope and pledged obedience to the successor, Pope Francis. The Vatican became home to two popes for the first time in history. He was a very intelligent man, a very holy man as well, and, and a great gift to the church in terms of his leadership. And Pope Benedict will lie in state in St. Peter's Basilica starting Monday. And on Thursday, Pope Francis will preside over his funeral.